Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel, uh, Live to Fish Outboard Repair. I'm uh, back on the 40 horse 402 model Mercury. Yeah, this is the 1973 model. Uh, as you recall from the previous uh, videos that I did, uh, the first one was to replace all of the wiring harness, completely replace all of the wiring, um, uh, in, at least in the engine compartment. Um, I also, in, this, in part two, I, uh, I regained spark, as you saw, um, uh, by uh, uh, discovering that the uh, coils were actually wired incorrectly to the ground. So, uh, and I also checked compression, got compression. So now I've got compression, I've got spark. The uh, next thing I need to check is fuel, but uh, I'm uh, waiting on parts right now for the impeller. Um, to change out the impeller. So I don't want to fire this up until I put a new impeller in it. Um, also, I need to, uh, today I'm gonna to just remove the, the lower unit. I'm gonna uh, disassemble that, see how the, the uh, impeller looks, uh, and go from there. My part should be arriving today for the uh, poppet valve and the thermostat, and I'll replace that as well. I'll, uh, my, uh, the, the two vent screws that I've got for uh, draining the oil and venting the, the uh, lower unit are on their way as well. Should be, uh, should be here today. And uh, then I can do a pressure test on the lower unit, see if the seals are good. So hopefully you'll see that. And uh, appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Anybody watching, uh, if you feel like to, you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Uh, so uh, keep watching and uh, you never know what's gonna happen. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, definitely a cold point head. There it goes. I not put that in wrong. It sure did. It kind of, kind of broke it a little bit. I'll have to take a look at that. It might be usable. Poking piece off there. Set down in there. See the under half of it. I don't know. The way it's rusted though pretty good. The shift shaft is definitely rusted. Now yeah, it's actually rusted right inside it looks like. I'm gonna get some LTV blaster on that. This is the linkage for the uh, for the shift shaft here, and it looks like it's rusted together. So, I mean, this thing is probably sitting outside or sitting in the water for a long time. But I'm not giving up yet. Exhaust housing wants to come out with it too. Okay. 
Wow, what a pain in the butt that was. It doesn't look like it's been done in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since I need this, it doesn't look too, too bad. If you can see that. I don't see any real score marks. The cap looks okay. Hopefully the seal is good. We will check all that. But this, holy moly, the color itself is just, uh, there are actually, there are no fins left on it. Um, I don't see any signs of where they might have went, and I hope they got it go in the head. see it <laughs> that's what's left of the water pump so I don't know hopefully you can see that um, but wow I really really had to wiggle on this thing and uh, there's a woodruff key that came out and this poor pump housing I think I'm <laughs> oh god gasket shot See a choice. Well, this Halloween, it's possible this is going to come out. 
to the beast plate. Lift it out of the upstream. Just clean it up. No. Remove that flush valve. Look, we got to go out there. I'm sure I did another load. Okay. Wow, what a pain in the ass. Inside, I'm going to give it. For that housing. It's the same way it is. I don't think it's going to do it. I'm just going to put that guy to snap into the load. This, this, this part is supposed to come off. It's not supposed to be fused around here. Well, when I get my bolts in, I'll be able to pressure test it and see if it's leaking here. Once I get my, I have to get a new, uh, a new pump kit on order. I've got, I just bought the, uh, I just ordered the impeller and that was it, but I'm going to say I'm going to have to do it. These gaskets, maybe this block assembly too, you know, this whole thing. But, uh, I mean, this block could be reused. It's just, uh, it's just the, uh, the flush, the flush, uh, this flush, uh, bolt here, this plastic bolt broke. And it's supposed to go inside and that may cause problems, so. Anyway, I think we're done for the day. Once I got an idea what I gotta order. So once I know what I gotta order, I'll uh, put all that together and get it get it here and we'll put it back together hopefully. But uh, that's got me concerned. So Okay, so I decided I'm gonna pull this uh, shift shaft out of here because it just wouldn't seem to shift out of forward gear. Pulled the shift shaft out, and now I can't get her back to engage. So I'm going to have to pull this lower unit apart. And then taking off the prop, I found out that it looks as though the um, that there's a fishing line all around the seal anyway. So that's probably going to have to come apart anyway if I can get her apart. So those are the next steps, and we'll see how she turns out. Stay tuned.